I'd like to uh, ask um, the Honorable Robert Jackson, Chairman of the New York City Council uh, Education Committee, to present our Distinguished Leader in Education Award to Jeffrey Canada, the President and CEO of the Harlem Children's Zone. Councilman Jackson. Oh, thank you, doctor. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day in New York. Do you agree? I tell you, it was very, very hot yesterday in more ways than one. But uh, I'm so pleased uh, when I was asked uh, uh, to present this award to Jeff Canada for the great work that he's not only done for New York City, uh, but not only our country, but the entire world. And in fact, as you know, our president, President Obama, mentioned the Harlem Children's Zone as a model that needs to be replicated, duplicated, copied, not only across this country, but throughout the world. And Jeff, as an individual, and I don't know him very well, I've met him many times, I've visited the Harlem Children's Zone, uh, I know that part of the Harlem Children's Zone is within my councilmatic district. And I say to you that some people ask whether or not our mayor, Mike Bloomberg, offered Jeff Canada the, to be the chancellor of the city of New York. Obviously, he's not. But one of the things that says about the, his personality is that he is staying focused. His primary focus is to make sure that approximately 10,000 students, children, within the Harlem Children's Zone area have that safety net woven so tight that from birth through college that they will grow up to be healthy, strong, educated leaders of our great society. And you know one thing? That's the bottom line. Do you agree? And so I conclude that Jeff Canada knows how not to bite off more than he can chew, uh, without a doubt. But, and in fact, as you know, he's not here with us today, uh, but obviously all of the things that he has done, all of the children that he has raised, because in my opinion, all of the children within the Harlem Children's Zone are his children, just like I claim 1.1 million school children as my children as a chair of the Education Committee of the City of New York. But I say to you that Jeff Canada, we wish him well. We know we want him to stay strong in order so that he can lead the Harlem Children's Zone. And I say to you that Joanna Garcia, who's here with me, who's my legislative and budget director, we just received three interns from the Harlem Children's Zone. And two of those individuals are college graduates, and one is on their way to completing college. And that's the type of work that the Harlem Children's Zone does every single day. So without further ado, I would like to present uh, uh, to Ann, his uh, chief executive operating officer, this education update, Distinguished Leadership and Education uh, Award to Jeff Canada president and CEO of the Harlem Children's Zone. And ladies and gents, to all the distinguished honorees that are being uh, presented today, along with all the distinguished honorees, administrators, and educators, congratulations to all of you. And now let me present the President and CEO, Ann Isom. Hi, good morning, everyone. 
I just wanted to say a few words. First, thank you so much um, for presenting Jeff with this award today and for giving him one of the distinguished educators um, from the Education Update. Thank you so much. Councilman Jackson, thank you so much for your kind words. And congratulations to all the other honorees in the room, the principals and the teachers. I'm actually a lawyer by training, and then I worked at um, city government for 13 years. And working here at the Harlem Children's Zone is by far the hardest job I have ever had before. I'm in awe of the work that teachers do here in New York City. And um, you'll see, I think Jeff actually has some words that he's going to share with us. But what I want to tell you is, it's not easy working for Superman. And you're going to see Jeff, you know, looking nice, and he's the hero. But for us, he is this relentless leader that has said to us that all of these 10,000 children are going to go to college. He doesn't accept failure. It's not an option. He, you know, he's been doing this work for 28 years. And some of the things that he tells us is that the children are not going to fail. It's, it's us as the adults who haven't maybe figured something out yet. He works with us, and he leads with us, and he helps us problem solve. When we're in the middle of the St. Nicholas projects or the Lincoln projects and there's a shooting and some of us get tired and say, Jeff, this is not where we're supposed to be, he says, this is exactly where we're supposed to be. This is the work that we're supposed to be doing. And he reminds us that these 10,000 children are just like our own children. And as a mother who's getting ready to send her firstborn off to the University of Pennsylvania in September, I know that the whatever it takes has on a whole other meaning for me. And that that same relentless passion that I have for my own child is what we do for the children at the Harlem Children's Zone. So it is an honor to work for Superman and to do this work and to be in the presence of all of you today. So thank you very much. Okay, everybody, as they say, as my dearest friend, Dr. Charlotte Frank sometimes says, in my best cafeteria voice, we are ready now <laughs> to listen to Jeffrey Canada on the screen. And so please, let's give our honoree, Superman, our attention. Let me tell you how excited I am to be an award winner for the Distinguished Leader in Education Award from Education Update, and to join my fellow awardees, Michelle Anderson, and my good friend, Harold McGraw III, who uh, I know, and Harold and I have done some wonderful projects together. Uh, this award really means a lot to me. Uh, I really am thrilled that I'm receiving this with other great educators, teachers, and principals. Uh, and I really want to let everybody know I really wish I could be there, uh, but I'm with you all in spirit, uh, and thank you so much. And I want to say a special hello to uh, Councilman Robert Jackson, who is just one of the great education leaders in New York City. And Robert and I have uh, been friends and colleagues, and I'm a big fan. Uh, Robert, thank you for all of your hard work on behalf of New York City's children. <laughs> 